Okay, so just uh, just got back home. Um, as you can see, it is literally just surface problems. See, so just literally rubbing that over with a rag. But it is worth keeping an eye on because the stuff that starts off being surface problems, you know, they can become more deep-seated issues. Um, over a period of time, bear in mind, as I said, from one of my earlier reviews, this chain is a year old already. Plus, um, I think the bike's done nearly 20,000 miles since I've owned it. Um, sorry, uh, 12,000 miles since I've owned it at least. Must be about the 20,000 20, mile mark now. And I, you know, I probably put about 12,000 on it. And I would say probably at least you know the majority of that is on this chain here but uh, as I say you know once it all is brushed off it's fine so it is just surface rust but nevertheless it just goes to show that uh, just like all normal chain lubes the Scott Oil stuff doesn't really um, allow for the chain to sit in that salty nasty corrosive water for any sort of length of time I mean working from home I haven't really been going out anywhere uh, and when I have gone out and taken the bike you know it's been very short trips but of course the salt glitters have been out and it doesn't matter whether you're on a short trip a long trip whatever um, that salt will bed in and take effect but on the plus side the chain is still nicely lubricated in terms of uh, you know it's uh, not rusting out uh, not sort of uh, uh, over stretching or anything like that and there's you know so it is doing its job in that respect but just watch out for the outer links <coughs> and things like that no chain is maintenance free uh, they're just varying degrees of different maintenance as far as I can tell um, you know I've not found a maintenance free option in fact the only maintenance free option really there is or closest to it is either a belt drive or a shaft drive so uh, i'll keep the review up over the winter but uh certainly uh i look forward to giving you more reviews thanks very much